Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing amazing out there. Today, we're here with the DJI Mini SE. This drone is very light. It's allow you to fly, take some HD pictures, and do some videos, do some magic with this drone. It's good for travelers, beginners. If you're looking for somewhere where you want to introduce your viewers to a very good destination, this drone will be your go-to guy. I did a few videos when I bought the drone, you know. Today the weather is really nice. I'm here by the by the airstrip, so I just thought, you know what? Let's fly again. Let me show you guys what you can do with this drone. Well, the drone is uh, 249 grams, so it's very, very underweight for most of the country. So you can fly this drone without needing to register the drone. Well, what I have here, I have the drone tool. And I also have inside here, I have the controller. Uh, this controller is what you use to navigate the drone you know my settings are still in a uh, cinema mode because the cinema is actually slow like if you're a beginner i would strongly recommend you stay in a cinema mode till you become master or professional before you go to the normal and the sports mode you know there's a few things that i will show you guys shortly and also in the bag you know there's a few bits in there there's an extra battery because i have the fly more i strongly recommend if you can afford go for the fly more because it comes with the uh, two batteries because the the mini two doesn't last at all the last time i remember flying pushing it to the limit it probably flew about less than 30 minutes before the battery saying return home battery is getting low so it's very very important that you have this with you and another tip i want to give you a stick you know watch the video to the end because this tip will help you so that you don't lose your drone you don't crash your drone stay tuned and watch the remaining tips watch the video to the end to get that tips it's very very important well let me get the drone ready so that we can fly so first thing first you make sure you unlock the drone because of this protection i have my drone id and everything the fly id on the top so i'm going to hide that while i'm unpacking the drone all right so i'm just going to put this here for now um, here are the propellers you can see here this is how the drone actually look like here's the propellers and uh, let me get a little bit closer do you see the memory card here's the memory card the memory card face down it face down look let me get it out do you see this bit face down face the bottom some of the drones is totally different and here is the charging if you want to charge it direct here is the type c charging port yeah and now I've unlocked it. All I have to do now, it's always good to release the front first. So here's the front. Yeah, this one go this way. Then the back go down this way. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's the front for me. Front like that. And then the back one go down. Now we have the drone. The drone is actually ready to fly and get you guys some amazing. Uh, views so here this here is the gimbal here is the gimbal it's very important that you release the gimbal guard because you don't want to spoil <laughs> so yeah you click that then it's removed nicely done now you can see the gimbal the camera is there this gimbal can shoot 90 degrees like facing down you can control that do that i'll try to see if i could show you guys a bit of what the controller can do so let me show you guys actually so you see the controller this here this can shoot like vertical like 90 degrees yeah does that make sense we're ready to fly this drone another thing i want to share with you guys another thing i want to share if you want to check the battery of the drone you click it once yeah then show you guys like the number of the bars because i believe i have three bars 
three bars that's so much you got i think it's enough for me to fly just to get some pictures it's enough for me to fly about five minutes so i will definitely take it up here here's the battery the battery is down here next to the memory card if you want to release the battery you press this button here then you get it out then if you want to put it back the same well guys i'm going to put a drone down for now we're going to launch it from here all right so stay tuned the drone is here now now i have my controller the controller is here now i need to get the stick these are the stick for the controller yeah there's some bits of uh, uh <laughs> things to do to fly the drone it's not easy i think but you know if you want uh, a new hobby like a, a drone pilot you just have to go through uh, this and there's a button here to take photographs with you know not to switch between video and uh, photograph and then you use this button to take photo and a video well guys here is where I'm going to put my phone it comes with an iPhone um, cable and also have a type C but default it comes with an iPhone but there's a cables in the bag as well well I have my iPhone here I'm going to plug the iPhone the good thing about the drone is as soon as you plug your iPhone it detects the drone especially if the drone is on the fly more comes on then you don't have to do anything so and also very very important when the the drone detect the fly more app make sure you look at the number of satellites available before you fly because it's very very important because the drone is actually going to tell you uh ready to take off ready to take off so ready to take off is that means there's enough satellite to actually get the drone back home returned home if that's right yeah so guys here's my iphone it doesn't have a lot of memory but you know i'm going to try to fly uh, this drone today <laughs> and um yeah i'm going, just going to unlock it quickly the fly more app look like that it look like that you need to connect to your bluetooth so what i need to do is just make sure my bluetooth is turned on yeah then we can just make sure my bluetooth is turned on now i'm just going to plug it all right let's plug this baby in all right sorry it's a little bit windy but i uh, want to try this drone we're planning to go to dubai so i'm doing a lot of practicing to make sure so it's plugging now it's plugging so what you do is to turn the controller on you press it once at the same time you can check the power in the controller so here you press it once it tells you i have a full battery on the controller but if i want to turn it on i press it and hold it so this is what i did press it once do you hear the sound now it's turned on it connects direct to the fly more so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the drone on as soon as i turn the drone on this will come on automatically i need to put this controller here watch this right um i have only one hand so how are we going to do this um i want to show you guys um <laughs> I'll, I'll, all right so i'm going to turn so at the moment it's not connected right so i'm going to turn the drone on by turning the drone on i need to press it once then hold it again then it to turn on all right are you ready drum roll the drone is turned on are you ready <laughs> guys can you see that now i can press go fly there we go well guys this is what i was telling you guys the satellite is showing there i don't know if you can see on the screen it's very very important that you look at this take off permit i see now i can see i have home point updated can you hear that the home point updated all right so guys let's go fly let's go fly so i have about 14 satellites available so what i'm going to do is because i have the drone here i'm actually going to launch it holding it because i don't have uh, any landing pad yet 
you know i think i still need to get that so i'm going to learn i don't know if you watch me uh take off like this you know i think you can take off like this but watch me do it you know You can see the drone. Yeah, can you see the drone? All right, I haven't started recording yet, so I'm going to press this button to start recording. This button here, I'm going to press it to start recording. All right, so now I'm recording now. All right, so let's fly, let's fly, let's go up a little bit. Let's zoom, let's zoom in a little bit. It's amazing, right? What a beautiful drone. This drone is genius. Like you imagine, this drone can take HD, HD videos, HD features are amazing, right? Well, let's fly this drone. Let's go. Let's see what this drone can do. All right? All right. You know, the good thing is I'm going to take some pictures the drone is off there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it now and I'm going to switch this into a picture and take some pictures did you hear that I just took a nice HD picture that's a picture I just took just going to maneuver the drone a bit to take different angle More pictures, you know. Let's get more pictures. Well, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this amazing video, guys, please consider liking the video and also subscribe to this amazing channel from drone. Amazing, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's land. Huh? We need to get it down before we land it, all right? All right, so now I'm going to land it. You know, I've done this so many times, so I'm going to hold it, then land it, right? You see that? That's how you land the drone. You know, because I don't have any landing pad, I have to land the drone like a pro, <laughs> sorry. Don't do that because you could chop your hand. So I've practiced it so many times. That's why I was able to land it. Because you know, on a condition where you don't have the landing pad, this is what you have to do to, to take off and land, right? So guys, thank you so much for enjoying this amazing video. If you do enjoy the videos like this, please consider liking and also subscribe to this amazing uh, channel from Positive Socially Guide, another travel, guide for drone users for beginners like me thank you i'll definitely see you guys in the next video